Hi, I'm Jyoti Priya, working at PRS Neurosciences. So today I'm going to talk about a Parkinson's symptoms. So we have motor and non-motor symptoms in Parkinson's disease. So motor symptoms are usually rigidity. We have a cogwheel and lit, uh, pipe rigidity. Tremor is of uh, postural tremor, intention tremor, or uh, resting tremor. So any of these tremors, the patient, uh, the Parkinson patients will have. Uh, bradykinesia, which is a slowness of movement, and uh, postural instability. So some of the other motor symptoms are uh, expressionless face. We will call it as mask-like face and they will have difficulty in uh, swallowing which is a dysphagia and articulation issues like dysarthria and uh, the loudness will be low, the speech will be monotonous so they will they will not have any expression when they are talking and the blink rate will be less and uh, they have a micrographia which is uh, when they are writing the handwriting will become small and it is very difficult to read. So these are the main motor symptoms we will see in Parkinson disease. And now we will see about the non-motor symptoms. So first is anosmia which is a loss of smell and uh, cognitive impairments and they will have mood disturbances like depression, anxiety, some of the behavioral changes and uh, sleep disturbances. So these are the non-motor symptoms. Now we will see the autonomic symptoms. So the main four autonomic symptoms first is a uh, cardiovascular uh, system involvement which causes orthostatic hypotension and gastrointestinal system which is causing uh, constipation and uh, urinary dysfunctions, uh, any uh, sexual dysfunctions like ejectile uh, dysfunction and uh, thermoregulation mostly they will be having lots of sweating which we call it as hyperhidrosis. So these are the some of autonomic changes will be seen in Parkinson's disease.